hello guys welcome to my channel how are you all doing so in this video i am going to show you how to make this beautiful kaftan dress i used 3.5 yards of ankara fabric to make this dress then i started by folding the material into four places then marked out the length of the dress for me i used 63 inches for the length because i want it to be full i marked out half inches on the center front of the dress to make the front slit I divided my hip circumference into four then I marked it down I used my hip circumference because it is the biggest part of my body and what I'm making is a free dress Next, I marked out my neckline. I started my with my neck width. I used 3.5 inches for my neck width. And I did the 3 inches, 8 inches shoulder circumference. Then I came down by 2 inches to then connect it to the 3.5 inches neck width measurement. So for my depth, I came down by 2 inches, then connect to the neck width. For my sleeve, I came down by 11 inches for the sleeve because I want the sleeve to be very free as seen in the pictures. Then, then I connect it to my hemming line. Then... I trim out everything. So next thing I did was to mark out my front neck depth which I came down by seven I came down by nine inches actually then I connected to I connected to the neck width then I cut it out <laughs> So I joined, I ran a stitch on the, on the half inches that I marked out on the center front. I ran it down to the hemming line. Then I cut it at the center front. I cut it into two. Then I joined my shoulder part. I joined the front piece and the back piece together. Then I ran stitches on them as you can see how my neckline came out. So 
so next thing i did was to mark out the front slit so i came up by 21 inches i came up by 21 inches because i don't want it to be too open i don't want the glue to be too levering so i had to lose the stitches that i ran through it and then stitch the place i just marked I i'm going to stitch it very well so that it will not lose on the way <laughs> After that, I fold it inside by half an inch. The half inches I marked out, so I'm going to be, ma be making use of it now. So I'm going to go in by half an inch. So moving over to the machine, next thing I did, I placed my tape on the side of the center front to make mark out half inches on both sides. Yes. Then I place my tape again to mark out 4 inches for the length. That's for my placket. That's where my placket is going to start from. Put it down and locked it. I measured the next, next circumference, which is mine is 32. I measured it round from the, the place I just locked now. I marked out four inches round the as in the next circumference. I'll measure the round next circumference, then back to the place I marked out four inches. Then mine is 32, 32 inches. In so, um, for the plaquette, then yeah, so I added extra for the closing of the plaquette. <laughs> Placket. The wideness of the placket is uh, 12 inches by 12 inches. Then I did, I had to slit the down part because that's the design. I'm just going to copy and paste this design the way I see it on Facebook, on pictures, sorry. So the long, the placket, that's the band that I just kept, I just dropped now, is four inches by length and the width is 35 inches remember i measured 22 the 32 inches for the neckline then i added extra two inches three inches sorry for extra because i want it to be extra for me because of the design which we are going to see later so i started by placing the placket at the beginning of the line then so so round and then stop directly on the line on the line where i marked four inches also each round then i stop on the line As you can see, I stopped at the line, the place I just rock, locked, the line I locked. Then there is extra plaquettes remaining that I didn't stitch. So I have to cut out the excess. So I fold in the shorter, uh, shorter side of the plaquette. I first of all I folded the shorter one first. Then after folding it in then i had to cover it with the longer side of the blanket 
first of all insert the short side of the bracket into the end of the center line and then insert the longer one after that you can top stitch on it carefully So my, for my box design, I will be working with wider measurements, which is 12 by 12 inches. Then I cut the down part to look exactly like the ones I see in my phone, in my pictures. So then before placing it there, I marked out the center part to enable me to place it very well. Then I pin it down. Remember to pin your works very well. It will help you a lot. So here is the result after stitching it down. Here is the result. So next is to fold in the sleeve allowance by two inches for mine. Always remember to pin your work. For in very neat to work, you need to pin every details down. Pin it down. Yeah. <laughs> the next thing is to shape the dress so I shaped it to my satisfaction and I sew it down to the last the down part of the dress so I repeated the same thing on the other side of the dress and I hemmed the down part and voila the dress is ready so thank you guys for watching see you in my next video please subscribe to my channel like share and comment. thank you